Yo, what up? It's your boy Corey G. Squad Every Day vlog number one. This is my the week of my 44th birthday. And like John Bros has historically said, if you want to squat every day and you ain't ready to suffer or push, you better find another program. But for some reason, you know, I made helped make squat every day very popular on bodybuilding.com seven, eight years ago. There's a lot of content on YouTube about this. We've created a Russian Bulgarian system with bands and all kinds of stuff in our 4 a.m. crew to create a bunch of elite lifters and really just strong, jacked, drug-free motherfuckers. I've been able to hit some crazy squats in my life. I've been banged up over the last couple years, but something about an interview I just watched made me want to recommit to squatting. Now, I've squatted off and on almost every day for years and years. But the true Bulgarian system, where you squat in the morning and in the evening, like a, almost like 10 to 12 squat sessions a week, is pretty uncommon for a drug-free lifter, really hard for a lot of people to do. you got to scale it and do some things. And we've got with the Get Stack plan over at Core G Fitness slash Max Effort Muscle, I've got it dialed where we can make dudes really strong, especially with the band waves and all the things that we do now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an afternoon session. So this morning, I squatted uh, four bands, which is 80 pounds a set, so 320 pounds of bands plus 95 bar weight. So about 400 pounds at a two count pause. It was a grinder, then pulled and did my normal back workout, which you can check out on the Core G Fitness app. And then this afternoon, I'm gonna put my lifters back on. I'm gonna go with a medium bar position and just hit some back squats and then a little bit of clean work just to add that extra session. Now, I historically lunge 800 meters a day too. My volume is crazy, it always has been. And I'm right now doing 600 meters up my cul-de-sac hill with a 30 pound vest. So I've lunged now 319 days in a row. The last three days I've added a 30 pound vest. Once again, like I said, it's the week of my 44th birthday. I just wanna push myself. So I'm gonna capture what I'm gonna do in the afternoon. I don't think it's gonna be anything crazy, but this is more about documenting. But here's what I wanna let you know. Squatting every day, all the time, just makes you a more confident person. It's a great challenge, it's something I've always been drawn to. It's made me a better human, a stronger human, a more uh, resistant person in life. And people are drawn to it because it's fucking crazy. And I'm drawn to it because it's fucking crazy. So. Here's the strategy. I'm not very good in Olympic shoes. I'm really bad at really at Olympic lifting. So if I work on these things, which is deeper squats, different position, harder variations in the afternoon, then when I go to my meets, power to meets, and I go low bar and chucks, just hit parallel, then in theory, right, I should squat way more. That's what happened back in the past. And what's interesting is I just squatted my best all-time squat a few months ago. We shot a documentary on it, it's not out yet, but we did a bodybuilding show in Akron on a Saturday. We did a powerlifting meet, both sanctioned events, in Sunday, uh, and I squatted 694.4 at a, as a Masters 181. That was drug-free, but in multiply. I'm now going back to raw lifting. Now, I have a torn labrum in my hip, which is why I lunge all the time. I got some things I'm working around, but that's part of the game. I've been competing for over 20 years. But that squat I just did as a 43-year-old drug-free athlete was the 16th biggest squat, drugs or no drugs, in powerlifting history in my age group and weight class. Open powerlifting, all feds, all ages. It's number two overall, drug tested. I thought I broke the all-time record. I fucked up the number. That's a whole nother thing. But anyway, this is, I just want to give you guys a background on what's happening. I'm going to show you what I did this morning next, and then I'm going to bring you into the afternoon session after that, and we're going to start this motherfucking process again. Day motherfucking one. Shout out to John Bros for the motivation. Appreciate you. Late.
So it should feel fucking, <laughs> should feel good. She just got the wraps off. I know, right? Your position is lifted feels good. Yeah. The whole the whole place is an office cool. Yeah. All right, so back squat session, worked up 365, wrapped up. Once again, the lifters put me in a shitty position, so it's way more difficult. My best like that is 500 in a meet back in the day. I think in the gym I made high fours multiple times, but it's usually about a 100 pound difference of what I'm able to do with my lifters on versus like Chuck Taylors and uh, low bar and all that noise. Went to a couple back down sets with 225 for five count pauses, hit a few little cleans, uh, only up to 175, just kind of working on that uh, speed off the bottom, a little bit of low abs, a little bit of stick twist and tibialis, and we out of here. Session, the PM session is done. See y'all tomorrow.